Hey guys, what's going on? It's your friendly firearms pastor, True Exodus, coming at you today to shoot some Ace Link armor. I'm not going to be behind it. Uh, we're shooting some two different models today. We're shooting their standalone level three plate, which is designed to take 762 by 51 and everything below. And we're shooting the what I have on the Special Threat Three Plus. Now this is designed to take that infamous, famous 556 five, round armor piercing. It's the M855 round. So without further ado, let's get to it. I want to preface this whole video with this is just a demonstration of what the armor can do. This is not actual testing. Um, this is just seeing what happens when we actually put bullets into it. I'm not an expert, wasn't in the military, was never a law enforcement. I'm simply just a preacher. So before you decide to just take my word for it, go ahead and uh, look at other things upon the internet. Look at other types of testing that's done when it comes to body armor. Before you make a purchase, remember we're looking for informed purchases, not impulse buyers. So with that said, Let's get to it. All right, so for this video, we're going to be using the Tier Tactical BPC. It's a um, really good plate carrier that I've used throughout the years. We're going to shoot the first, so you can see, the Level 3 armor. And this is the rear of the plate carrier. And we're going to shoot this first with our 762 by 39 from Fort Scott Munitions. It's a 117 grain. Shoot it at 20 yards and see how we do. Oh. oh, horrible shot. Horrible, horrible shot. Look at that. Hit it right on, just right there. Uh, pretty sure that went through. Yep, it did. Well, try it again. <laughs> oh, it's a great way to start. Just a great way. All right, take two of the already compromised level three. Here we go. Put another one in there. All right. Did it penetrate? Nope, it didn't. The two bullets, one right here, one right here. Oh, and they caught him. Look at that. There's your entry, entry. No exit. It's kind of what you want. No exit. Very cool. All right, so two hits took it really, really well. Let's do four right up close. <laughs> Nothing penetrated. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Nothing went through. One, two, three, four, nothing went through. Even with that compromised um, shot that we had up here, we're just, I mean, truly multiple hit, even at close range, even at that further range. So that's pretty cool. Um, I kind of want to shoot this until it stops working. All right, so we got that special threat three plus. It's designed to stop the 556 armor piercing round. See how it does. All right, so the first round we're gonna shoot is that green tip here at 20. Oh, wow. It's kind of a big hole. Stuff's coming out of it. Probably the bullet. Nothing came <clears throat> out the other side though. You can see the bulge right here. You can feel it. Nothing came out the other side. Dead center. All right. Let's shoot with the 62 grain Fort Scott Munition. Now, I pretty much aimed at the same spot. Hopefully I'm, I'm so bad I didn't hit the same spot. Let's just kind of aim out the miss. So here's our first, here's our second. So let's kind of round top of each other. Oh, 
no penetration. See that? Here's your first one. Here's your second one. And that's pretty cool because they're pretty close to each other. And um, the closer you stack rounds, though, of course, the, the faster this is going to deteriorate. The protection is going to deteriorate. But it's a 5.56 five, traveling out of 10 and a half inch barrel. That's another thing, too. They're traveling out of 10 and a half inch barrel. We're not traveling out of 16 inch barrel. We're going to have to save that for a different video. But there's a lot more energy that's being developed as that round comes out of a 16 inch barrel or a 14 inch barrel as opposed to a 10 inch barrel. So you got to take that for what it's worth. That's pretty cool. So the tip is green on all these. Let's put four right into it. One, two, three, four. You're having a bad day. I'm about to find out because it's the day that you were living. Oh, cool. Okay, so you can see the bulges, how that ceramic just kind of catches that, that round. I don't, I'm not seeing, there's nothing that's coming through on either side. It's just, it's just deforming. That's all it's doing. It's just deforming. There's no exit from the back of this plate. That's why actually, believe it or not, that's why they're curved. So if you ever want to know why they're curved, it's so that it could stand alone against your body and really nothing touches your body. And if it does, it's just like, well, I mean, it's gonna hurt <laughs> for sure. It's gotta hurt. Anybody who's been shot wearing a plate, shoot me up in the DMs. Don't shoot me up in the DMs, hit me up in the DMs. Uh, that's incredible, that's incredible. Let's keep doing it until it stops working. Something had to go through, um, something had to go through. Take off the whole plate carrier. Yep, there we go. Now we're getting stuff that goes through. So there is a point in which this plate is going to become compromised, um, especially when you start stacking rounds really, really close to each other and you're putting them through the same hole and the material is not there to stop it and it's just punching deeper and deeper and deeper. But very impressive nonetheless. Let's break this down. Let's, let's look at what this actually is. So now that we've destroyed it completely, let's look at what we uh, what it actually is. This is just layers and layers of ceramic. And they're compressed nice and tight. And here's a bullet is being caught. And just like a catcher's mitt. Just like a net, it's catching it and slowing it down before it reaches the body. That's pretty cool. Now, would I buy this? Absolutely. Knowing what I know, shooting what I've shot, I would absolutely buy this. So those are the bullets. I don't think that's the actual, yeah, I think those are all the That's pretty cool. <clears throat> all right, so after that, I'm coming back to that level three plate and we're gonna shoot it with something a little different because I'm curious. We're gonna shoot it with a nine millimeter out of this MPX. So let's just, uh, let's do it to it. Oh, 
Nothing's going through it. Nothing's coming through that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I didn't think it would. I like, it's, it's a compromised plate like we saw with the three plus. But this is just not given. It's not giving anything. It's not giving up. It soon will give up though. Nothing's going through. Oh, just catching bullets. <laughs> They're hot. Oh, I have three bullets that just fell out of this gun or this, uh, this, what, this plate fell out from the top. Right over here, it fell out from this, this top. Any more in there? It's incredible. Just incredible. You can see the material still on it. See how it bent this. It's all copper to you, Iron. I bet it hit one of his brothers and bent. Because the other two are not bent like that at all. Interesting. All right, that was a fun experience. I want to thank Ace Link Armor for sending that over. I want to thank Fort Scott Munitions for supplying the bullets, Daniel Offensive for supplying the gun, Rebel Arms for going out of business. And uh, guys, this has just been a truly interesting experience to just kind of see what these standalone plates will, will take. And uh, I just kind of flabbergasted. I just don't, I really don't know what to think. Um, so if you're looking, oh, here's a bullet. If you're looking to make a purchase, get on their website, uh, check out what they have. Uh, do some research about standalone plates. See the other things that are on the market as well. Uh, but for these guys, they sent me out a lot of plates. They showed me a lot of love, and I really do appreciate that. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. True is saying, hold fast, stay the course. Out. Let's see. Let's end this. It's not, nothing's coming through even to these back la layers. They're all getting caught up in the middle. Ah, here we go. There's a bullet. Ho. Did a punch the, man, this is just thick. Hey, geese. Very cool. I always have appreciation for how people put this stuff together. I mean, really, it's like, ah, there's a bullet. Oh, there's a bullet. Very cool.